You know, truly, we're living in the last days. Um, we're looking at the climax of this age. And one of the things that the Lord wants us to do is he wants us to watch and pray. This is what Jesus told the church that he wanted us to do in the last days. Watch and pray. And when I say watch, it is necessary for us to pay close attention to the signs that Jesus spoke of. Open your eyes, people. It's time for us to awake from our slumber because the days are approaching. The Lord's return is very, very near. There are some of you that are sleeping. Some of you that are so busy and inundated with what's going on in life that you're not paying attention to what's going on. And the Bible says, as in the day of Noah, they ate, they planted, they built, they sold, they did all of the normal things, but they weren't paying attention to what the messenger was saying. God had a messenger in that day, just like he has messengers out today. That messenger was Noah. People didn't listen. They jeered, they mocked, they scoffed at him. And the Bible tells us in the last day scoffers will come. But like it was in the day of Noah, when the warning was being sent, Noah preached 120 years, and not only did he preach, he built the ark while he was preaching, telling the masses of people, this ark is for you. This will be the only thing that saved you. But they laugh, just like today, when we tell them, listen, understand people, there was only one way of an escape of the destruction that came upon the earth during that day. And that thing was the ark. There's only one way to save you from destruction, from the wrath of God that's come upon this world. And that is the ark of the Lord Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. If you don't get into the ark, the Bible says, if any man be in Christ, if you don't get into the ark, when destruction comes, you will be taken, my friend. And I'm telling you now, the Bible says that God's wrath is reserved for the last days. He's been holding back his wrath. Mercy has held him back. But just like Noah preached, it came to a time when God said, enough, get in the ark, Noah. Noah got into the ark, and the Bible tells us that the waters, the depths of the earth was broken up. He talked about how things came down. So basically what's happening here, Jesus said, the things men's heart will fail them for fear, for the things that are coming upon the earth. Remember, not only was the, the heavens open and things began to rain on the earth, but the depths were open as well. I mean, it's like all kinds of things happened and, 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 and waters came up from the end of the earth. And remember, the Bible talks about the seas and the waves roaring. He talks about earthquakes in diverse places. So you have things coming upon the earth from upside, outside of the earth and the cosmic. Uh, and then you got things that are coming from underneath the earth. It's time to get right. And it's time to get right right now. We used to sing a song in the church that came up out of uh, get right with God and do it now. Get right with God, he will show you how. Down at the cross where he shed his blood. Get right with God. Get right, get right with God. I'm saying to you, my friend, if you're in Christ, remain in him. And hold fast to those things which you have. And don't let no man take your crown. But if you're not in Christ, today is the day of salvation. The Bible declares that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. It's time to come into the ark. And that ark is the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you. Thank you for listening.